my brother molested and raped me for about two years, starting when I was, I think, about 10. And the physical and the emotional abuse continued beyond that. And I come from a family that is very concerned about maintaining this perfect image. And so they basically ignored anything was wrong then and now. They completely turned a blind eye when I went from being this very outgoing kid to being completely withdrawn when my grades plummeted at school and when I had every symptom in the book that something was very, very wrong with me. And my sexual abuse completely devastated me. It left me feeling like I have no inherent worth, that my feelings don't matter, and that I deserve to be treated like trash. My rapist has faced no repercussions for his actions, not in the legal system and not within my family, though some of them don't know what he did to me. So he's still invited to all the family events. So if I choose not to be around him, I'm the one who has to stay away. So when that happens, I feel like I'm in exile and that I'm victimized again. And it's really lonely. And yet, despite all this, I still feel obligated to maintain this perfect image of my family. Now, some people have asked me, you know, why does this still bother you? This was over 20 years ago. And my only response is, yeah, that's true, but I still live with the effects of it every single day. Problems like depression, anxiety, eating disorders, substance abuse. I used to cut myself every day. Uh, when I get really distressed, I still get flashbacks. I had a fight with my family over a year ago that was so awful, it was about my brother, and it triggered a relapse on one of my eating disorders. And it was so bad, I ended up going to rehab for a week because I needed extra support. I just couldn't shake it on my own. I get all my self-esteem through external sources. School, my job, awards, athletics. I need external things to tell me that what I do is valuable because I don't feel like who I am has any value. And this is something I've been working on, I promise. Um, I've been in and out of therapy since I've been 19 years old, currently on my fifth therapist, uh, and I'm very grateful to the manufacturers of my antidepressants. Uh, helps a lot. Uh, I've been going to 12-step meetings for over 10 years now, and I email my sponsor every single day. And these are some of the things that I have to do just to feel okay. And sometimes I really am okay, and I'm content, and I'm happy. But beneath the surface, there is still this deep, deep shame about what I experienced. And I'm afraid that it's not an irrational thought that I'm worthless. Now, when it comes to my sex life, I can have and enjoy sex, yay. Um, <laughs> though I wonder how much of my sexual likes and dislikes are a result of my abuse. Oh, and it's hard to tell a new partner about my abuse and when to tell them because it's not like a fetish that I can roll out like a sexual bonus. No, there's any bonus to this. Um, and I assume everybody has just random passing thoughts when they're in bed with their significant other. Um, yeah, I have random flashes of memories uh, when I'm, you know, having sexy time. And sometimes it's just annoying and I can dismiss it and sometimes it's disturbing. Um, and the first time I have sex with a new person, by the time we're done, I'm shaking like a leaf because my brain knows what I'm doing and is enjoying it, but my body can't tell the difference between sex with a new partner and being sexually assaulted. And this is just some of the shit that I have to deal with on an ongoing basis because I'm a rape survivor, especially given my fucked up family dynamics. And there are just thoughts and ideas and feelings I can't control, I can't stop them, I just have to manage them. And I've finally given myself permission to tell my story whenever and wherever I want because I need to for my sanity. And if that makes people in my family uncomfortable, they can go fuck themselves.
Um, I know I'm not the only person in the room who has had this type of experience. Um, and now I know I don't have to be silent about it either. Thank you.